Look at that cutie right there. She's cute. All right, so what I had to do with these two fittings, I had to JB weld them, but they're really strong right now. There's no problems with it. They were broken before, but I'm happy that I actually found them. They were still in the in here and they were just really loose. Yeah, and then right now what I'm doing is just cleaning some more stuff here and cleaning this airflow plate. So I'll make sure that it's nice and clean right there. It's a little dirty, so I'm gonna clean it really nice and reinstall it back. I'm gonna put a little bit of grease on each of these studs. That way they will not seize. It's just the problem is that somebody really like over tightened and broke these studs, two of these studs before. But it's good to go now, it's fixed. Look at that, the blower is working now and everything. Amazing. Amazing machine, let it run. That AC compressor is being weird, I disconnected it, but it still cycles sometimes. So weird. The transfloid is low, I gotta add some more. All right, so it's good now. Had to add a little bit, not a little bit, probably like two or three quarts. And I can see the pan underneath is actually leaking a little bit. It's pretty wet underneath. All right, guys, so now my job is to replace these tie rods. They're pretty bad. So I'm just gonna replace this one, that one, and two on the other side. And uh, I got these ones right here. And uh, I prepped these tie rods by removing the boots and adding a lot more grease to them. So they're gonna last a long, long time. It took me a while to hammer this thing out with a pickle fork. This thing was sitting in there like crazy. Who knows when these uh, tie rods were done last time, maybe 20 years ago. A lot of stuff looks pretty original. But these these things are not good. They have play, especially that joint. I had to go to O'Reilly and rent some more tools. This thing was so tight, but here it is. All right, I cut it out. I'm gonna measure it with a tape measure and install a new one. This one is kind of tired too. It's pretty tired. Had play. measure it so we can get it close 14 something so got a new nut on it and uh, grease here and we can install it into the sleeve a few moments later all right guys I got the tie rods ready for this side I'm gonna go ahead and install them and I had to tighten this back up because I couldn't uh, loosen the sleeve it was pretty tight so but this thing is has a lot of play. It's pretty bad. And it's bent because uh, when I was using the puller, it was bent, it got bent. Okay, this side tie rods are in. All installed. This I love this loose because I'm gonna have to adjust the alignment a little bit with the old school way with the string. 
while I'm here, I'm also adjusting the wheel bearings and I took out the outer wheel bearing and uh, I repacked it. Got fresh grease there, repacked it. I'm gonna put it back together and adjust this side. Had a little bit of play, so I'm gonna adjust it. Install this back. All right, I just tightened the nut, added a little more grease. Everything is adjusted here. So we're gonna just install this cap. And this grease is still pretty good. So I'm gonna leave it there. And yeah, actually I have to clean this cap a little bit more. You can see how worn out these ones are and boots are torn. Definitely needs to be replaced. This one is really bad and loose. This one too, the boot is torn. All right guys, the tie rods are ready to be installed. Put a little bit of grease right there so it never seizes. Awesome. All right guys, so the tie rods are done and I will be adjusting the alignment in a little bit, but now I wanna finish this uh, wheel bearing. I want to put the outer wheel bearing back on after I already cleaned it and everything and I just have to uh, repack it again install everything back adjust the wheel bearing and that's it we'll be adjusting the alignment afterwards if you guys want to know how to adjust the wheel bearings on these amazing legends the link will be down in the description box all right I'm gonna do the old school way the alignment adjustment see a bunch of gap right there so it's way towed in so i have to move it out all right so i adjusted it a little bit so that side is touching now and then we have a little bit of a gap so for the rear wheel drive cars we're gonna we have to leave a little bit of a gap so these have to be just slightly towed in the front tires like that just slightly all right guys we're test driving this amazing machine i did the alignment but it's not gonna be perfect because my idler arm is actually a little bit of worn out so i'm just going to the gas station right now real quick but we'll see how she is 40 miles an hour not bad it feels pretty good solid amazing machine Amazing, amazing machine. All right, guys, the test drive went amazing. She did great. Put a little bit of fuel in it now and uh, stretched her legs. She's doing great. All right, so the window regulator, glass, everything is back now. <laughs> gonna be a joy of cleaning all this glass broken glass out I don't know who did that but shame on you this is crazy this is the worst thing dealing with broken glass all right so all the glass is cleaned up. I'm about to lubricate everything here and fluid film the area and lubricate the door locks and mechanisms. And then take a look at this. They really don't make cars like they used to. Look at this stuff. Every wire is colored and there's a schematic right there where each wire goes to. It's pretty amazing. Fluid film. protection from rust now we're gonna grab a bunch of grease and grease up this mechanism the cable and then I'm gonna lower the window and grease up the tracks and we'll be done 
Now using the clear silicone paste, not paste, but sealant, I'm gonna reattach this film. It's really important to reattach this film. I'm gonna go all the way around and this is the best method of reattaching these films. All right, the film is all reinstalled. We can install the door panel now. All right, guys, ignition on. Look at that. Everything is lubricated. Nice. Amazing. There you go. It's all the way in. Door panel's in, guys. Everything is still dirty here, all right, from my fingerprints and whatnot. But everything is back together and amazing, all right? Look at that. All fixed up. What an amazing machine. Take care of your amazing old school cars, guys.